You know, at Ethan Harrison, we, we really believe in the power of worship. Uh, we think that worship on Sunday morning as a gathered people is a really important thing. There are a few things that are more important in our week than gathering at the table with all the rich depth that, that comes with that moment. But at the same time, I think most of us also understand that worship by itself is not going to make us into the people that God wants us to be. Uh, we need, practically speaking, a bridge between what we experience on Sunday morning, as formative as that is, and, and what we experience the rest of the week in our normal lives. And so our small group program, we intend that to be that bridge between Sunday morning and the rest of the week. It's where we can take the conversation that we begin on Sunday morning, take the things that we experience and we learn as we come together for worship, and, and we can kind of dig into those a little deeper. We can wrestle with what the text says and how that actually looks in our lives. And then you have this group of people that you are accountable to, and they're accountable to you. And you go out and you actually start living the true truth that we've seen in Scripture that week. It's um, all about making Christ's likeness not just a, a head game we play, but a really practical thing that we live in our life. When I think about the importance of small groups in the life of our church, I really think about three uh, just essential texts in the New Testament that are just, for me, absolutely at the heart of the whole thing. The first one's in Romans chapter 8, verses 28 and 29. There Paul summarizes the work of God by saying that God is taking all of the things in our lives, the big things and the small things and everything in between, and he's using those, he says in verse 29, to form us into the image of Christ. That God's work in our life can be summarized by uh, the simple statement that God is making us Christ-like. That's what it's all about. The second one is a lot like that. It's in Ephesians chapter 4, starting in verse 11. And here God, uh, Paul is talking about how God has given the church apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers. And he says the reason God gave us those leaders is so that they could equip us uh, for the work we have been called to. And then he goes on for the next several verses, all the way down to verse 17, talking about how that work is that as a whole, as a body, as a community, uh, we would work um, in Christ's likeness. And so the leaders of our church, they've been given to us uh, for the purpose of helping us become like Jesus, helping us become Christ-like. The third text, of course, is uh, Jesus himself, what we call the Great Commission in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20. And when you look at that text in its context, Jesus really gives us their purpose. And he says, your purpose can be summarized in, in this idea of being disciples and then making disciples disciples. And so if you were to ask me what small groups are about, our purpose in starting the small group program at 8th and Harrison is to really key in on that mission that God has given us to become a Christ-like people. It's not the only tool in our toolbox as far as that goes, but it's going to be a really important one as we seek to be more and more like Jesus. I think the small group format is really important for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of the reasons small groups are so important is because they provide a, a context of safety and intimacy and a, a kind of consistency for people to work through the process of discipleship, of spiritual formation, of Christ-likeness. And so what you do is you go in week in and week out and you're wrestling with a text and you're wrestling with the way that it applies um, to your life with the same group of people and you get to know each other. And after a while, as those relationships deepen and they develop, you realize that you're really in this process together and that not only are they going to stick with you through the good things, but they're also going to kind of walk with you through the challenges, the, the, the rough parts of your life that you can count on them. And this is really important because at the end of the day, uh, one of the things we say a lot at Ethan Harrison is spiritual formation, Christ-likeness, uh, church is, is never a solo sport. We all have those times where we need to hold up our brothers and sisters and uh, we all have those times where we need to be held up. Drop me a line, message me on Facebook or, or send me a text or just stop by and uh, I'll help you in any way that I can. September 4th is just right around the bend and it's going to be great.